Hey there guys, uh, this is Musashi. Uh, somebody asked if they could see kind of how I do this stuff. Um, I've already drawn the whole thing. Um, right now I'm just kind of bolding the lines really. Uh, this is the first page of what I was doing. Um, now I'm just kind of touching it up really. Um, Um, I actually drew the thing with a uh, number two pencil, um, but I rebold the lines with the mechanical. Uh, I don't know, it just, I think it does the job a little bit better. It doesn't, sm I don't want to say smear, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't seem so smeared with a mechanical pencil. As you can see, it's a little bit bolder, um, when you see me retrace it here. Um. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever tried to draw anything like in a like a story kind of setting. As you can see, I kind of I kind of tried to imagine like um, trying to fit something in this. Sorry that it's kind of like the angle on this is kind of weird because I'm recording this with my phone, um, and it's kind of hard to bolt in the lines with one hand, so I just kind of have the phone kind of propped up. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the first bit. Um, I probably won't like record like me drawing anything, um, because it kind of takes me a while. <laughs> and my phone doesn't particularly have that great a battery. Um, I would be able to do it. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I appreciate all the, uh, comments and everything, you know, I, uh, didn't really anticipate very many people actually liking all the stuff that I draw, um, I knew a couple people would probably enjoy it, cause, I mean, it's kind of an anime-esque manga style, um, but yeah, uh, you know, this is just how I do it. <laughs> You know, nothing too magical, <laughs> I guess. Um, you know, I mean, pretty simple stuff. Um, I just wish I could explain this stuff better, because um, I really just kind of can't, because I kind of suck at explaining how to draw. It's not really something that I was taught. <laughs> it's just kind of an acquired thing that I just kind of learned to do over time. And lots of lots of drawing. I guess practice is probably a better word. A lot of practice is what I did, basically. Um, yeah, I can, you know, I can pop out drawings like this pretty fast, but, um, you know, it's the the details that take me a little while. Um, let's see, I mean, let's see, I posted the comment about doing one of these, and then I immediately started drawing this. Um, and then I got the sketch out, and I'm just kind of on this part where I'm reboldening everything. Um, hopefully this isn't, like, boring watching me do this, but somebody asked to see kind of like how I do this or explain it or something, this is the best way is to just see it done. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see that part. Um, yeah, I actually tried to draw the <laughs> border as straight as I could, but I just, I wasn't really thinking when I did it, I just kind of did it as I was drawing, really. Um, but, uh, I guess I probably could have laid kind of a, some kind of a straight edge, like a ruler or a book or something. I just didn't really think about it. Um, oh well. I guess it gives it a little bit more of a artsy feel, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Seeing that the, uh, what the hell is it called? A, uh, panel. Hand-drawn. Right now it's stormy outside, so hopefully you can hear me over the rain. Um, yeah, I mean, if this is something that's interesting to you guys, maybe I'll...
try and do more of something like this. Um, so there's that. We bottled that character. Um, I guess I could probably rebolt this a little bit. Um, Shade the lines here. Uh, hmm. I think that's good. What else needs bolded? Uh, I think this does. Let's do this character here. So I gotta do a little bit of shading on him. Um, just kind of make him kind of pop a little bit. Um, hopefully, you guys can come up with some kind of an interesting dialogue here. Uh, I literally suck at story writing. Um, I can write stories, but not to uh, drawings. I cannot. I just can't do it for the life of me. Gotta fix this line. This looks like crap. <laughs> I really should have used a straight edge. Oh well. Um. Yeah, hopefully you can come with something. I can't. <laughs> can't really think of anything. Um. But I'm sure there's plenty of people on here uh, on the uh, RZ form that can come with something. I know there was a story writing competition. I thought about entering it, but then I was like, no. I think I'll just hold off. Um, I kind of messed up on his eye here, didn't I? Um, I wish I could give more tips. I mean, there's not really anything I can think of. Um, actually, I got one idea. Someone asked me, um, you know, tips on how to like how I do this and stuff. Um, here's a example real quick of how I practice with proportion. Um, that actually looks terrible from this angle I moved this one. Yeah, you know, there's kind of a uh, example of a pr proportion for like a uh, female, kind of like an, uh, not quite an adult, but I guess an adult age teenage adult thing, um, you know, I mean, that's just a basic structure, um, that's pretty much how I do it, um, hopefully that helps, I don't know, oops, um, I don't know, um, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, here's the, uh, night drawing that I was doing, um, still, still working on it, uh, not really sure what else I want to do with it yet, um, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do the chain mail, um, but yeah, back to this, um, let's see, I guess I'll probably just retrace every line, really just kind of make it really pop here. Yeah, I mean, I got a ridiculous amount of pencils and crap laying around. So, no need to worry about 
I'm running out of lead or just graphite in general. Um, somebody actually asked me once um, why I never erase. Um, <laughs> the funny answer to that is I actually do erase a lot. Um, I just erase very clean. <laughs> So you never really see my uh, erase mar eraser marks, I guess, um, for the most part. Sometimes you do because, like, for instance, like uh, on this eye, you can kind of see where I had erased. Because I, when I went over it again, I kind of messed it up again. I was just like, eh, I don't want to erase again because it'll make it look awful. Um, but you can kind of you can kind of tell where I've erased and stuff. So you know, I'm not at all perfect with drawing. I cannot, can't do that. Can't draw without erasing. It's almost impossible for me. Um, because I mean, just to draw the characters in general, I erase a lot just because, uh, the way that I set up the drawings, I draw a lot of guidelines and stuff, and that's how I draw. Um, not always. Um, sometimes I'll just freehand it and go with it. Um, for instance, uh, this character here, you know, I mean, I just kind of freehanded it really for the most part. Um, not a whole lot of er erasing except with the eye. Um, and that's literally because, well, like I said, I kind of freehanded it, didn't really, uh, didn't really, um, use any guidelines or anything, so I just kind of went with the flow of the pencil. <laughs> and just let it lead me with it, and that's just kind of how I came about it. Um, um, I don't really know what else to say, so I guess I'll just try and hurry it up. Um, Probably shade a little so you can kind of see how I do that. Um, I always go for like a circular motion when I shade. Um, it's just something that I learned from uh, my dad. Actually, he taught me how to shade a little better with circular shading. His mom was an artist, um, which I actually didn't know for a long time. Um, she did not draw like this at all. But, uh, he learned to kind of shade in or color in by circular motion, um, which I found to be pretty, pretty good way of doing it. Um, I don't always do it, but it does help um, in certain parts of like a drawing, um, you know, like a big area like this. It helps to just kind of really get it done a little quicker. Um, I don't always choose where to shade. Um, I know it sounds really weird because who chooses for me if it's not me. But uh, usually by just kind of looking at the drawing you can kind of tell where you need to shade and what needs shaded. Um, not everything needs shaded. Not everything needs to be colored in. Um, particularly, um, you know, for instance, um, like with this top drawing here, like, I shaded the tie, but I didn't shade the shirt, um, or, you know, I don't put any, like, uh, you know, like, shadows or anything on here, because it's not, it's not needed, um, you don't need it to see, you know, what, see the, what's going on, you just kind of, you need a little bit just to kind of get the depth, but that's about it, um, at least that's my opinion, I don't know, others might disagree with that, uh, you might be wondering, like, w how I knew where to stop on the drawings if I drew this as I was going, but, uh, I actually had kind of a guideline, like, uh, up here I would draw, like, a 
something like that. Um, I don't know if you can solve that. Turn it going. Something like that. I'll draw something like that somewhere, and I'll just kind of go from uh, corner to corner. Um, that's usually how I do it. Um, you know, I mean, it wasn't like anything planned. I mean, like I said, I've never really drawn anything like this before. Um, or at least not like, I mean, I've drawn, you know, characters like this, but, you know, I've never drawn them in this kind of a setting of like a, something's going on, like a story or something, like there's dialogue and all that, because I just never really thought about really doing it, um, and really, I don't really think I'm good enough for that, um, I guess is what I'm saying, um, I mean, I guess I'm good at drawing, uh, but I just don't think it's quite storybook kind of good yet. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave that opinion up to you guys, I guess. Um, you tell me if you think I'm good enough, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll end it there.